that you have tits. What's up, everybody? It is Shoe Sage, and yes, it is pronounced Shoe Sage. Tallest statues in the world. Again, I feel like I should have to say this, but maybe new people come to this video. But doing size comparisons is something that is not a new channel. Very hit or miss. You guys could fuck with it. You guys couldn't fuck with it. But honestly, I like doing size comparisons. As far as the tallest statue, I'm not completely for sure. I could have sworn the tallest statue was actually a statue of a Chinese figure. What do you think it's a Buddha statue? I don't know. I already don't know the tallest statue in the world is. However, though, there's only one way to find out. And I ain't gonna wait for you guys to find subscribe button now to do that i want me to get straight into the video our first statue in this video the statue of liberty with a height of i mean who thought the statue was gonna be the tallest statue of course not um i know that the statue of liberty is not actually green it's just over the course of time that's just the color that's changed but i have a question though um like why didn't they give the statue of liberty a little bit more a little more ass if you know arguably the most well-known statue in the entire world so I guess it needs no. no further introduction. It portrays Libertas, the Roman goddess of liberty. In one hand, it holds a torch above her head, and in the other, a tablet, which depicts the date of the United States Declaration of Independence. Classic. The Statue of Liberty was created as a gift to the United States by the French people. It I tell you right now, that Roman guy was ugly as hell. But her ass look like, handsome. Anyways, I'm impressive sorry. impressive 93 meters tall, which is pretty remarkable considering that it was actually built more than 100 years ago, back when construction materials and technologies were nowhere near advanced to what we have today. What's even more impressive is the fact that the entire structure had to be completely disassembled after it was completed in France. It then had to cross the entire Atlantic over several weeks aboard a steamboat and was become an important symbol of freedom to the United States and has become one of the most visited statues in the world. You know, I actually always was kind of curious about how they transport the statues over to different countries because, I mean, I kind of figured you had to disassemble it. But it was just like, God damn, do I really feel like this is some that entire statue, though? Not as popular and widely visited as the Statue of Liberty, this next statue is actually even taller. At 99 meters, the Guishan Guanyin in China is as iconic as statues can get. It depicts the Buddhist figure known as the 11-headed thousand-armed Guanyin, though the structure doesn't mm. actually have a thousand arms. I see, I see, I see. And they try to tell you to know until it's not inspirational. They didn't copy Hashirama whole flow, you feel me? It that shit really crazy though. Have you know 11 me? heads. And to be fair, it would be quite hard to build a thousand arms of this size. The Guishan Guanyin stands at a towering 99 meters and offers a panoramic view of the surrounding mountains in the city of Ningjiang. Additionally, the entire structure is plated with a thin layer of bronze that gives it its iconic metallic finish. I love the color, though. It took $36 million to complete this single project, with the funds coming from a joint effort from the county government, local businesses, and various religious organizations. According to local Buddhist beliefs, the figure's multiple arms are said to represent Guan Yin's unrivaled compassion to the people. The many heads and eyes, on the other hand, allow the figure to look at the misfortunes of everyone that comes to visit. That's a pretty cool statue. A lot of people think it's better than the Statue of Liberty. It's way cool. That's probably the coolest statue Next so up, far. The Sendai Daikanon at exactly 100 meters tall used to be the tallest statue in the world when it was mm. constructed back in 1991. Although plenty of others have surpassed its height over the past decades, it's still an impressive Damn, statue. Damn, the number one statue is The statue is located feet? in Japan and portrays the figure of the goddess of compassion in Japanese Buddhism, locally known as Kanan. But what's most interesting about this statue in particular is not. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I actually would not like living Japanese Buddhism, um, locally next known to this statue. Kanan. Like, can but you imagine just living and like you're just chilling outside and the statue is just judging you? Like, hell no, nah, bro. And I don't even have a fear. I forgot what the phobia is called, but you have a phobia of gigantic objects. I used to have that, but I don't have it anymore. But this just, no, nah, I can't go outside. Like, can you imagine going outside after a long day of, of, of being a not shit ass person and then <laughs> going outside seeing this shit staring at you? Interesting nah. about this statue in particular is not its towering height or its awe inspiring figure, but rather what lies inside. The entrance to the Sendai Dai Kanan is shaped like a dragon's mouth, an important symbol oh, cool. in Buddhism. Meanwhile, on the stairwell that goes all the way to the top, there are an additional 108 Buddhist statues that each represent an earthly human desire. Next up is the Mother Ukraine statue, which is actually the tallest in Europe, with a total height of 102 meters, including the pedestal. I mean, that bit is barely, that bit is barely taller than the last statue, bro. By Matter of fact, this is cheating. This is cheating. 
And why does this statue have titties? He's holding a sword. That's cheating. Keith, the monument depicts a female warrior carrying a sword in one hand and a shield on the other. Today, the shield contains oh, yeah, a Ukrainian coat of arms, but that wasn't always the case. Interestingly, both the symbolic meaning and the physical depiction of this statue haven't always been this way. To give some proper context, this monument was actually built all the way back in 1979, back when Ukraine was still part of the Soviet Union. The statue was originally called the Motherland Monument and was constructed to serve as a symbol of the Soviets' victory against the Germans during World War II. The female figure was supposed to represent the personification of the Soviet motherland. The shield even used to depict the Soviet state emblem instead of Ukraine. Yeah, Loki gave her a bell like a sword. That's all the weak hair. That's all the dry shit. Just in August of 2023, amidst the Russian invasion of Ukraine, as a means to further distance itself from its Soviet roots, Ukraine decided to remove the Soviet emblem from the statue. Monument serves a renewed purpose amidst an ongoing conflict. The figure in this statue may be sitting down, but don't be fooled. The statue that of the statue in is India cute. is one of the tallest. 112? I thought it was bigger than that. Its pedestal. With a total height of 112 meters, it's the tallest depiction of the Hindu god Shiva. That's supposed to be a depiction of the Hindu god Shiva? Now, I know about the Hindu god Shiva, but um, for the images I've seen, the statue, you look a little chubby, aren't you? <laughs> I don't remember Shiva being a little chubby in the face, but maybe I'm, back in maybe I'm wrong. It's a means to bring in visitors to the city and serve as both a pilgrimage site and a place of worship. The statue was built using a unique method where layers upon layers of reinforcement were put into place to ensure its stability. The innermost part of the structure is actually made using reinforced concrete, and it's surrounded by a rigid steel structure that kind of serves as the monument's framework. But it doesn't end there. The steel structure itself is also surrounded by another layer of molded concrete, which is then coated with copper and zinc on the exterior. Oh. One very interesting and quite indeed. It looks pretty cool from a distance. That just a few steps away from the main statue itself lies a smaller installation of Nandi, Shiva's celestial bull, looking up at him from down below. Okay, that's a pretty cool touch. Going even taller. So far, the coolest statue was the second statue we saw so far. The one in the death that just completely ripped off Naruto with a thousand hands. That's probably the coolest statue so far. We go through this list. This next statue actually held the record for the tallest in the world for 15 consecutive years. The Ushiku Daibutsu is a 120 meter tall bronze statue. So you might ask yourself, how do you actually build on such a scale? For right. this one, they used a method that made use of bronze-plated blocks that were pre-assembled on the ground before being combined into one structure. This method is called the curtain wall method, similar to how high-rise buildings are constructed. An iron steel column was first placed to serve as a frame for the rest of the structure. Okay. After this, the body of the statue was divided into 20 different vertical tiers, where each component block was placed one by one. The use of bronze sheets for the statue also helped with the construction, as it was relatively lighter compared to the usual steel frames on other tall structures. Oh! Boy, I thought they forgot a finger. I'm sorry. My bad. Listen, y'all. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning as I'm recording this video. We'll hey, hey, take this shit back, gang. I'm about to say, hey, get a refund, bro. ...the Amitabha Buddha sitting on top of a giant lotus. The structure, along with the rest of the surrounding gardens and installations, were built in honor of the Japanese Buddhist monk known as Shinran, the founder of the most widely practiced branch of Buddhism in the entire country. I'm not gonna say Inside anything. I was gonna say something. I was gonna say something super crazy. I ain't gonna say nothing, bro. Which has I ain't gonna, more than <laughs> golden I ain't gonna say nothing, bro. That actually serve as memorials for the deceased. As we go taller and taller, we have the Garuda Wisnu Kankana in Indonesia with an astounding height of 122 meters. Hell it's no, that's actually the on the last statue. More than one figure. In fact, the monument actually portrays an important scene from Hindu mythology. That statue is tall, but story, that's cheating. The deity Garuda agrees to be ridden by Vishnu in exchange for the elixir of life. This monument is the tallest in the country, as well as being the tallest statue in the world of Hindu relevance. The design for the statue was so intricate. Well, and clearly, it ain't the tallest statue in the world, but it ain't number one. But 
tactics, but the entire structure was actually divided into more than 700 individual modules that were created in a specialized factory more than 800 kilometers away. But this was still not enough, as the 700 modules were further cut into at least 1,500 smaller pieces because they were too heavy to be lifted on cranes during the construction. Because of its sheer size, local residents were even concerned that the statue would prove to be too disruptive. Some religious leaders even argued that it could potentially disrupt the spiritual balance of the island. The project Damn, eventually that the statue is that tall, it's going to cause a spiritual disruptance? That shit crazy, man. And the crazy thing about it, I mean, that was the tallest statue in the world at that moment, but... Ain't the tallest statue in the world now, so clearly they don't give a fuck about that shit no more. As the benefit um, of attracting tourists and economic activity to the area proved to be a far greater prospect than the previously mentioned concerns. At an impressive 129 meters tall, the Lake Yunsekia sits firmly as the third tallest statue in the world. However, despite its impressive height, not much is actually known about it, and it's probably the least visited statue on the list. Not only is it located visited. in a very remote area, it's also just extremely difficult to enter its country right now, because it sits in Myanmar. The project wow. took a total of 12 years to complete, as it was entirely funded only by donations from local residents. Do it, do it, this, this statue is made by a GoFundMe page? You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You were lying. No, this statue was not built off a GoFundMe page, bro. Quit lying, man. That's crazy, bro. And then he got a little shot underneath him, too. Explanation. Was, was she funded by a GoFundMe page, too? Tama Buddha in the process of rebirth, with the second 101-meter reclining Buddha on the ground representing the previous incarnation, while the main statue itself represents the one which has attained enlightenment. Next up, we take a big leap in height. Continuing with statues that depict the Buddha, the Spring Temple Buddha located in China is so massive that it's almost difficult to fully grasp its scale. At a towering really? 208 meters, even just the height of the statue's toes already surpasses that of the average person. Damn, for real? Interestingly, the structure's exterior was actually made using a combination of copper, steel, and as many as a hundred kilograms of real gold. This mixture makes it real gold. Hey, give me a give me a, a slight estimation, chat. If if they were trying to sell this statue on eBay, how much do you think the statue would go for? I bet that shit would go for a lot of money. <laughs> shines oh my god! Even when observed from very far away. When it was finally completed back in 2008, the entire project was cost as much as 140 million U.S. dollars. Hey, never mind, I got my answer. The initial estimates. Today, the Spring Temple Buddha holds the record for being the tallest Buddha monument, as well as being the second tallest statue of any kind in the entire world. No, I'm not going to lie to you. I think around this point is the size that LeBron's statue should be. Now, you, you may be able to argue against me, but when LeBron get his statue after he retire, I'm thinking it should be between this statue and this statue. But let me know in the comments, though. Like, wh how big y'all think LeBron's statue should be? Previously mentioned statues on this list. The Shiv Smarak in Mumbai, India, is one that hasn't actually been built. But despite this, the plans for it are already mind-bogglingly insane. The statue will stand at an impressive 212 meters, and will even have its own personal man-made island off Mumbai's coast, built entirely for it. The monument will depict the Indian warrior king, known as Shivaji I, riding a horse and wielding a sword to battle. But aside from the statue itself, the island will also be home to various amenities, such as a memorial, a museum, a gallery, and an amphitheater. Wait a minute, hold on, that kind of cheating, because you're not even really, nigga, you're standing on top of a building, bitch. What? Hold on. Is that, is that, is that, is that, can, is that a part of the statue? Nigga, you're on top of a building. This is cheating. We'll Get also your be home that. to various amenities, such as a memorial, a museum, a gallery, and an amphitheater. There are even plans for the island to be connected to the rest of Mumbai through an extension of the city's metro system. 
The project was initially given a deadline to complete construction by 2021. However, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, they were unable to deliver on time. Damn. The project's creators a damn COVID, for man. <laughs> one year extension until October 2022, but that deadline has also already long passed. Today, more than a year after the extended deadline, there's basically been zero actual progress on the project. The only thing that's been accomplished so far were a couple of underwater and geological surveys around the site. The artificial island still doesn't exist to this day, so it remains to be seen if the Shiv Smarak is ever going to be completed. It probably will. It probably will. If you're not a profitable trader, after working with me in eight weeks, I will personally hand you $7,000 at an unprecedented 240 meters in height. The Statue of Unity in Kevada. No, this is a statue. This is a statue I said at the beginning of the video that I thought was the tallest statue in the world. I forgot his name, the Statue of Unity. I thought this statue was the tallest statue in the world. Also, I love how this, I love how this statue is so big, but it got this weak ass pose. <laughs> like I said, he ain't even doing no cool shit. Like he could at least be, he could at least been like this right here, but dog just, Land like this and shit. But anyway, the tallest statue in the world. This is that's what I thought. Unlike was most of the previously mentioned structures on this list, this statue does not depict a religious figure or an abstract personification. Instead, it depicts an actual, real person from recent history. His name is Vallabhai Patel. But who exactly is this man, and what has he done to receive the honor of having? And what does he do? What does he? What did he do to get a statue this big before LeBron? What did he do to get a statue this big before LeBron? Tell me, please. The tallest statue in the world dedicated solely for him. Vallabhai Patel was a very important figure in India's contemporary history. He's known for being an instrumental figure in the country's struggle for independence from the British back in 1947. A speech which he delivered back in 1942 in front of hundreds of thousands of people is often referred to by historians as one of the major turning points towards the growing nationalist and independence movements in India. He then served as both India's very first Minister of Home Affairs and Deputy Prime Minister immediately after independence. Okay. Construction on the statue remembering Patel began in 2013 on the- All right, all right, all right, all right. Perhaps I was wrong. Perhaps he does deserve a statue before LeBron. You got me there. Checkmate, checkmate. Um, still, it's, it's a cool statue. Weak ass pose, but it's still a cool statue. His birth. As a nod to the statue's name, there you was could a have, you could have had my boy sitting back like this right here, like donors to be repurposed for iron needed in the construction. I'm just saying, Despite you could have like that. Size and scale of this undertaking, it actually took only five years for everything to be completed. On the only five years, third anniversary of Patel's birth in 2018. That sounds like a long the time to me. Was finally inaugurated and open to the public. Sadly, he never got to see his very own monument, but his story and impact remain to this very day yeah i thought that was the Wait biggest statue if in the, the world. last one was the tallest statue in the world why is there another one on our list yeah well, well to be honest with you guys this statue isn't quite built yet it seems like india is still not satisfied with their current record and planning to build something oh even th this is a new statue is getting made proposed statue of lord rama an insane plan for a statue that would stand at a total height of 252 meters really because I for sure thought the Statue of Unity was the, the biggest statue monument in the world. will depict the Hindu deity known as Rama, with his iconic bow and arrow, along with an overhead umbrella. But despite all these ambitious I'm real true. Plans, that umbrella is the only reason why it's taller than the Statue of Unity. Like, it's kind of cheating, but... Yeah. Not much has actually materialized ever since this was first announced way back in 2017. The latest information that we know so far is that soil testing was done on the site back in 2018, and five firms had already been shortlisted to work on the project. Aside from this, though, it remains to be seen if this project will actually turn into reality. Do you think the unfinished statues on this list will ever actually be completed? And have you seen any of the other statues in real life? Let us no, know. No, I've never seen any statues below. before, man. I got. I said that. at the beginning of the video, I thought the Statue Union was the biggest statue, but I had no idea if they was building this statue, though. I'm not gonna lie to you, though. Shot. That's pretty cool with the fact that the Statue of Unity is not a religious figure or a symbolization of nothing. It's just simply a guy that was very well respected. He managed to get the biggest statue so far. In the comments down below, chat, which one of the statues is your favorite statue and why? Why are you down there? And subscribe. Then tell me for the help you watch CC content. This guy didn't subscribe me. I appreciate it a lot. If you guys didn't, I guess we'll follow. Anyway, go out my TV. I'm gone. Peace.